Hi guys, my name is Caroline and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a Raspberry Pi Zero W or you could use a regular Raspberry Pi for this uh, but I wanted to show off the capabilities of a Raspberry Pi Zero W because it has the wireless on it and use it as kind of a home remote home monitoring app and I'm going to do this by linking this up with my webcam that I had at home already so this is a Logitech 9000 you can also use I used two different web, these were webcams I already owned, I already had, this is a Microsoft webcam, and what I like about this webcam is that it has a, a tripod attachment, standard tripod attachment, so this worked out really well uh, to use the Logitech, you, you've got to, you know, position it uh, correctly, I did have to 3D print out a little base for it, if not you can fashion it yourself on whatever you want to monitor at home. Uh, so the materials you need for this project, you'll need your micro SD card, you'll need your Raspberry Pi W, you'll need all of the attachments for your Raspberry Pi W, for example, you need this uh, micro USB to USB attachment so you can hook up your webcam uh, to it. Um, you'll also need a Dropbox account. Now, I'll link to that below. You can set up a basic Dropbox account for this purpose for free. So that's really cool. And the, also, the other reason I'm using Dropbox is because Dropbox is going to be our UI for this. Uh, there, are a lot of cons cons uh, there are a lot of security concerns when it comes to uh, taking pictures or you know, having access to, to what's going on in your home. And so it's not going to be video surveillance. It's going to be a, t a picture. We're going to take a picture um, using our uh, Logitech camera every four minutes or however often you want to set it to. I found that between four and 15 minutes is, is, is pretty good. And then we're going to upload those pictures to Dropbox automatically. We're going to write a script and then, uh, and we're going to use Dropbox as our security and also our UI. So I'm not, you're not going to have to host a website somewhere out there either. We're going to use Dropbox as our as our interface uh, for this. So you will be able to look at this on your phone, on your tablet, inside your home, outside your home, and see what's going on in your home with a little uh, surveillance uh, pictures every four minutes on the Raspberry Pi Zero with a standard webcam. So let's get started. Let's start with downloading the operating system we'll need for a Raspberry Pi Zero. I'm going to raspberrypi.org. I will link to this below and then click on downloads. I'm gonna go for the full Raspbian here and then all you have to do is click download a zip. Now this is a pretty big file so it will take me a little bit to download this entire file uh, so we'll just skip ahead uh, to the next step. I'm using Etcher to flash my micro SD card. I've got my micro SD card already inserted. All I have to do is hit select image and I'm gonna choose Raspbian stretch and and then all you have to do is hit flash. Our flash is complete and we will remove our micro SD card from our computer and move on to the Raspberry Pi Zero W. Now we're ready to work on our build with our new Raspberry Pi Zero W and the flashed micro SD card here. We'll insert the micro SD card right here and mine came with the case so I'm going to pop it in the case right here. First I'm going to work on the HDMI so there's a little HDMI adapter it came with, and this is the HDMI cable to my monitor. Next, I'm going to plug in the adapter for my USB. Now, there's only one uh, USB, so I'm going to need to connect it to a uh, multi-port here. And on the multi-port, I've got my dongle for my mouse and keyboard and my webcam here. And last but not least, we've got power, so let's plug this in and it should come right on. And here we go. And this is the uh, initial boot up with our Raspberry Pi Zero W. And our mouse is working. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to get us on the internet. All right, excellent. We are on the internet. Open the terminal. Starting with the terminal, I'm going to sudo raspi config. First thing we do is change the password from the default password. Next, I'm going to go into interfacing. I'm going to allow for the camera. That's the whole point. Yes, I would like the camera enabled. 
Going back to interfacing, SSH, yes, SSH, and also VNC. And VNC is enabled. I also want to change the time zone to US Eastern. That's where I'm at. And now I have the correct time on here. So I'm going to hit finish. After I hit this reboot button, we're going to move back to my computer and SSH. Now I'm going to assign an address to my Raspberry Pi Zero. And every router is a little bit different. I'm using a Netgear here, so I'm not going to go into the specifics of how to assign it. But I, I know what my IP address, I've assigned it. I know I'm going to go into here when I SSH. Now I'm ready to SSH into my Raspberry Pi Zero W. My password is the one I just set up and I am in. So the first thing I'm going to do is a very standard thing you do with every new Raspberry Pi install. I'm going to do a sudo apt-get update. And next I'm going to follow the using a standard USB webcam instructions from the raspberrypi.org website. I will link to this below, but all I'm going to do is install FS webcam here. And I've installed FS webcam. Now let's see if I can use web FS webcam to take a picture. And I've taken a picture. I'm going to ls and I can see I've got image.jpg. But what does image. JPEG look like? Well, that's a great question. And that's why I enabled something called VNC Viewer. I could do a whole different tutorial about VNC Viewer. It's a desktop client that sits on my computer. Default username is pi. The password is the password I set up at the beginning of this tutorial. And I am in. Now I'm going to go to File Manager. And there's the image. So we know our Raspberry Pi can take pictures. And that's all we need to do. So I'm going to go back to my VNC viewer. I'm going to disconnect. And we're going to move on with this tutorial. Next, what we want to do is create a script that will take pictures for us. So we don't have to keep on running the command. So in order to do that, I'm going to say, I'm going to put them all in one directory. and I'm going to open up the editor of my choice and create a file called webcam.sh and here it is. Now I'm going to copy paste this code from here to here and control X to exit. I'm going to save yes webcam.sh yes and that's the script. So now I'm going to shamod webcam.sh. Now sh shamod, this never works for me. I've tried this a couple times. I usually have to type in sudo for my shamod to work. And there it goes. Now I'm going to run it. And there it goes. So how do I know I have a picture? I'm going to ls cd into webcam ls and sure enough there's a picture in there. All right, we have our script working. Now we want to run the script every so often, every minute, every 4 minutes or so. And the way we do that is cron tab dash e. I'm going to select nano because that's the easiest. And here is the cron tab and they even they give you the code right here I'm just going to copy and paste the code and what this does is it takes a picture every minute and I'm going to control X yes to save enter 
and I've installed a new cron tab. So now I should be taking a picture every minute or every two minutes. LS, CD, webcam, they're all going to be saved in the webcam folder and we'll see these pictures start to take. And I can see I've got six pictures in here but I can't actually see them without the VNC. So, and if I'm not on my local network, which is kind of the point of this project, how do I look at these pictures outside of my home? I want to be able to remotely monitor, but there are security concerns and I'm not gonna do port forwarding. I'm going to use Dropbox. So that takes me to this GitHub article I found. I will link to everything that you see um, in the description field below, but now we're gonna go into a Dropbox uploader. And there are two ways of doing this. There is this Dropbox uploader, and this is exactly what it is. It's a Dropbox uploader. It's not a Dropbox sync. There is a way to Dropbox sync, uh, but that does require purchasing a client um, for, for a certain amount of money. I'm not gonna go into that because I did not purchase it, so I can't uh, go talk about that. But this version is free. I found this on GitHub. Thank you very much. Andrea for breezy for putting this up here. I don't know you, but uh, this has been so helpful. So thank you very much. And I'm going to follow the instructions on this GitHub page to do uploads. So it's not a sync, this is an upload, so we will have to do some management here. So I'm going to git clone. That was quick. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, shamad cd dropbox uploader. So now I'm going to Shamad. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay, that works. And then I need to run the script. And now I'm going to access my Dropbox account. So hopefully you have a Dropbox account and you can, and if you don't have a Dropbox account, I'll put a link below, but uh, create a Dropbox account. It's free for the first couple megs there. And if this is all you use it for, I think you should be fine. For now so you do need to go into your Dropbox and this is the one I've already created uh, before I started this tutorial for this tutorial I'm gonna the steps are to create an app and I'm going to select Dropbox API right here and I'm gonna select app folder so I'm gonna create a single folder specifically for this app and then I'm gonna name my all right let's see if that works and here it goes. I'm using Dropbox as my security and it's asking me for an access token. Next, I'm going to generate an access token. And here's my access token. And I'm gonna paste it right here. Yes. And the configuration has been saved. Okay, excellent. And the first thing we want to do is run the command. So this is the command dash s means skip over the files that have already been uploaded. Upload, uh, we want to upload from our webcam folder to our Raspberry Pi Zero W Caroline folder. Dropbox, Let's see if this works here. Okay, it has uploaded the pictures. I'm in my Dropbox now and I I see on my account I have created a new folder called webcam. Let's click on that folder and here are my pictures. And I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm kind of scrolling through the pictures. And here we go. So these are the pictures I've taken with my webcam that are automatic. So now anywhere that you can log in to your Dropbox, you can see these pictures. So there's no, you, the UI is Dropbox. The security is Dropbox. You can access this from your Dropbox app on your phone, on your tablet. But now you can access these pictures from outside of your home network. What I ran was a one-time upload right here. We want to upload at regular intervals so that it automatically uploads these pictures going forward. How are you gonna do that? We do that through CronTab. So I showed you CronTab, we set up CronTab to take a picture every two minutes, and now we're gonna set up CronTab to upload. And here we are back in the CronTab. Uh, so we've got the run the webcam sh 
command every two minutes and now we need to run the same command we just put in for uploading to Dropbox. And here is the command. So what I'm going to do is I found that taking a picture every two minutes was just a little too often. So I'm going to set it to every four minutes. And then I'm going to upload every 15 minutes right here to my Dropbox. So what it, what, what it does is it goes into my Dropbox uploader. Then I'm going to run the Dropbox uploader sh. Uh, S dash S is I'm going to skip over the files I've already uploaded. Upload from home Pi webcam to my my root folder in my app here. And I'm going to Control X. Yes, I want to save it. Enter, and now it should start running automatically. Even if I unplug my computer or if I reboot this, it should continue to work. And that is how this works. So now I'm going to show you, um, you've got Dropbox going here, and then you've got all our pictures on here. So if you, this is a lot better if you access this from your phone or from your, or from your tablet, you can see the pictures upload real time. So it, it's not a sync and it's not a, it doesn't move the pictures off of your local directory uh, from your Raspberry Pi onto uh, Dropbox. So you do have to do some management. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to CD webcam. So we've got 12 pictures now. And so I, I've, I've figured out that once you get to about 250 pictures, the Dropbox uploading does slow down significantly. So I, I do go in here once a day and I, and I do delete the files once a day and but they're all saved on my Dropbox so I'm fine so I'm taking a picture every four minutes and uploading to Dropbox every 15 minutes and because it's in the cron tab it automatically works thanks for watching my video about the Raspberry Pi Zero W taking pictures with a standard webcam please subscribe thanks for watching